What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Continue along. Felt that one too. Fire pistols. And that one. At least it ain't quite as cold in this cave. I melt everything. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Good thing that rock tried to murder us, or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. What is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. That ain't water. How did you know your guns would work back there? Ugh. Well, I can't jump. It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Contraxia. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Got a better one? Petey Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. Not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. No, no. Everyone made the jump except for me. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. What? What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? Oh, yeah. The zipper. Man, I gotta fix that thing. Stop there, thanks. Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Wendigo! What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Wendigo! <laughs> he just wanted to. Okay. Now we know they're all around us. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Groot says what? Ah! It burns! Groot says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. Tortured right now. More likely, Warlock is torturing Raker. The golden one is formidable. I think she meant with his mouth, Drax. That is not an effective means of torture. Groot <laughs> says those plants deserve it. Magic fool would sense our arrival and rush to face us. I am disappointed. Maybe he's hiding from us. Unlikely. We did kick the crap out of that ugly dweller thing. And spank both blood brother. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another affair. Damage over time, effective against enemies, lots of health points. Looks like they've evolved to survive these conditions! Next time we hunt monsters on a tropical paradise! Get ready! Hold out these beasts serve as sustenance! 
off the battlefield, Peter Quill. Our enemies are melting before us. <laughs> like butter on a hot knife. <laughs> Somebody bring me some bread. I have fought many battles, my friends, but none so magnificent as this. <laughs> it is magnificent, Drax. Unbelievably, insanely magnificent. <laughs> right? Like a fork in supernova. So stay on track, keep your eyes open, and shoot for the stars. Who's with me? Today, I am yes! the destroyer! Feel bit! This has got my name on it! Never see it coming! Done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. Except 
acceptable to ask for help, Peter Quill. Seek revenge. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. Oh, please. It's probably the least dangerous thing on this planet. Just a big hunk of scrap. I'm not seeing a way up there. Not for all of us. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Groot knows what he means. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. Look out below! Ha! That'll work. You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them. They're dead. I never truly believed this day would come. What, freezing your nips off with a bunch of us? Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. More hostile. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Ooh, maybe it's a barbecue. Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Is all this foo? Undoubtedly. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foam. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. We've still got some things to pack up. Weird. Kind of looks like, uh, like the characters from Parasite. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. 
Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your head. How did he get over there? Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using oh, it. Damn, 20 short. Here's hoping we do better against Boom than this lot. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. And appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day. It shall mark our ultimate conquest or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. And it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. There we go. I knew I'd find some around here. Give me a tick. I'll be right there. On it and finish. I've made it foolproof just for you. All right, people, let's catch us a dragon. Yes, we grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally, in the case of this place. Whoa! Hey, Keith, the ice is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! Ah! Have you lost your fucking mind? Damn it! I don't know what happened there. I double jumped, but like the second jump didn't jet boot me. It's like it gave me a. Uh... Two single jumps and the double jump All came right, out late. People, let's catch us a dragon. Yes, we grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Whoa! Hey, Keith, the ice is amplifying our velocity. This is how I die. Takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're gonna get back up. Or how we're gonna get Boom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Back on Earth, we dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. Hey, I finally got an outfit for Drax. Camp didn't have nothing useful, like a can of anti foam spray. Perhaps a copy of Fighting Fin Fang Foom Volume 3 Dragon Slaying Techniques and Strategies. Uh, somebody actually wrote that? <laughs> no! Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these, I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fang Foom! 
Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill, go! Uh, Fin Fang Foom, it's nap time! Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom, we're gonna decomboggle your flocked scut spigots! You hear me? Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Guess and that's our dragon. I want to see something because I thought it was supposed to be like super intelligent and this just seems like a beast yeah he's a uh, um, McLuhan is a shape-shifting alien being from the world of um, Maklu 4 who resembles the Chinese dragon blah 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 Turn to sleep it's something to do with Shang-Chi Um, there's a bunch of bunch of history. This thing's been around for a while. Um, superhuman stamina, durability, strength, shape shifting, longevity, spiritual possession, flight, energy assimilation, telepathy, acid mist, asexual reproduction, aspect expulsion. This thing has all kinds of stuff. Weakness. Foom is extremely vulnerable to an unidentified herbal leaf found only in China. This herb is capable of quickly putting Foom to sleep for extremely long periods of time. Perhaps indefinitely, as long as he remains in the general vicinity. Great. So we just gotta leave the planet, go to China real fast, and uh, we'll, we'll get this. How are we supposed to capture that? By beating him into submission. We're gonna have to get through that ice armor first! Prepare yourself, Foom! You face Captain Heat Bomb. Popping this a little too early, but I'm hoping I can spam some abilities here. Victory will soon be ours, my friends, uh, unless they send reinforcements. If they do, we'll have to move like lightning, hit them from behind. But what if they're too fast? We'll need another plan. Hey, hey, hey! Every battle comes with some kind of curveball. Trying to predict where it's gonna land only makes things worse. Relax. It's easy to overthink when things get tense, but if we focus... We can hit him hard. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quill! We are! Great! That's two! You're the Bane of Ice, Peter Quill! See? Bane of Ice isn't such a bad nickname! Pass! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
His health there. Some way of sweeping plasma highly effective against dice can be bound in a moment of vulnerability. Rock 
We screwed up. We conned you, robbed you, killed your baby. We can't take back what we've done, but we want to make it right. Uh, Quill. The Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! the two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. So I wonder if like the dragon is actually like her husband or something and it shapeshifts or because we know the dragon's a shapeshifter, but here it seemed very beast-like. So I don't know. Either way, 
this does seem like a good spot to wrap things up. So, with Fing Fang Foon done, we're probably taking things to the church. So stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all soon with some more.